and welcome to Mind Up lesson number four. My name is Joni and I'm a trainer for the Beach Cities Health District and today I'll be guiding you through lesson number four which is all about how your brain learns to listen mindfully. Now you might recall in lesson number three that we practice mindful listening with a sound bowl. We're going to practice our mindful listening skills again but this time I'll challenge you with some different props. Before we get started though, let's find out the materials that you'll need for the lesson. They'll be listed on the next slide. Here are the materials you need for today. The Guess That Sound worksheet and a pen or a pencil. Now that you have your Guess That Sound worksheet and a pen or a pencil, I want you to place that off to the side and we're going to talk a little bit about this strainer that I just grabbed from my kitchen. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with your brain? Well, actually, kind of a lot. Your brain acts like a filter. You see, the PFC, or the prefrontal cortex, as we know it as, has an assistant. And the assistant is called the reticular activating system. Activating system. We'll call it RAS for short, just to keep it simple. Now, the reticular activating system helps filter out information that's not really important. We take a lot of information in during the day. Imagine when you're sitting at school and you're trying to focus. Maybe somebody's tapping a pencil, another friend is talking, the teacher's talking, maybe you hear noise from the hallway. Right? All of that information moves through the reticular activating system. So it looks a little something like this. Here's your filter. And here's all of the information that is coming into your brain. Now I have some beans and sugar here. I'm wondering what will make it all the way through. What do you think represents the important information? Let's see. So the filter does its job, the RAS. And as you can see, just the sugar makes it through. So your brain works hard to take in only the important information that you need so that you can pay attention and make good decisions. There are many sounds surrounding us throughout the day. Usually, we aren't mindful of every sound because our brain helps us pay attention to what's important. Think about a time when you were doing schoolwork and it was hard for you to pay attention. Maybe an adult was on a phone call nearby, or someone else was watching TV, or making food in the kitchen. Your brain might have been overloaded with information. Mindful listening activities can help our RAS do a better job. So, that's exactly what we're going to practice today. On the next four slides, I will make four different sounds. Shaking coins in a jar, tapping a pencil, shuffling a deck of cards, and crumbling a piece of paper. Your job is to decide which sound you hear and label it on your worksheet. I recommend stopping the video after each sound to give you enough time to record it and draw a picture. As a reminder, this is what your Guess That Sound worksheet looks like. Here's sound number one. Sound number two. Sound number three. Sound number four. If you had trouble listening to any of the sounds, you can rewind this video and listen to them again. By paying close attention to specific sounds, you can train your RAS to listen very carefully, and that helps the information reach the PFC easily. 
And when your PFC gets the important information you need, you are more in control of how you think and how you behave. Hi again, I hope that you had fun with the Guess That Sound activity. Now, in case you wanna try this with, at home with family or friends, I recommend gathering at least four different props to use for them to guess the sound. The first one I used were the coins. I also used a deck of cards, a pencil, and you can find any piece of paper and crumble it up for that sound. Now, if you wanna get fancy and explain the reticular activating system or the RAS, you can grab a strainer from your kitchen, make sure you have a container underneath it, and fill your other container with the items that you'd like to filter through your strainer. Most importantly, have fun with it. Teach your friends and family all about mindful listening and keep practicing yourself. And hopefully I will see you in the next lesson.